उधर गीतकार वैरा मुतु पर लगे यौन आरोपों के खिलाफ गायिका चिन्मयी श्रीपदा ने एक बार फिर आवाज उठाई है इस बार उन्होंने तमिलनाडु के मुख्यमंत्री एम के स्टालिन से यौन उत्पीड़न के आरोपों पर गीतकार के खिलाफ कार्यवाही करने का अनुरोध किया Do you think uh, after, even after five years, nobody in large from the political arena in Tamil Nadu is coming out in support of these women, including you? That's right. I agree, and I believe that's uh, only because uh, he is one of them, and they want to support their own because he is their friend and he has those connections, and uh, which is why I have said that if uh, Mr. Bridge Bhushan had been a wrestler here with the kind of connections in Tamil Nadu, all of them would have gone in support of him. Um, are you uh, continuing to claim that you know uh, that the DMK might be shielding him or giving a platform for him for not from not taking any kind of you know action against him? No, I'm not claiming it. It's, it's actually recorded. In fact, they are platforming him. There are so many uh, government events, uh, personal. Uh, of course, I think personally, people can do whatever they want to uh, in their lives. However, when uh, somebody holds an office, they need to uh, be a certain manner to install. I mean, instill uh, the confidence in women, especially when they speak for women's safety and. And, uh, safety against uh, sexual abuse for children as well. They need to make sure that they walk the talk. And even though they, it might be like a private visit, this man tends to always take that photograph and you know publish it, publicize it, say that oh my God and everything. So right from uh, you know the swearing in ceremony to everything else, you'll find the guy. So I don't understand how it's supposed to instill any confidence in any woman who's named him. Um, Ma'am, when we try talking to the DMK spokesperson in relation to this, they are telling that you never filed a complaint. Is it true that you never filed a complaint or are they lying? They are lying. I have actually filed a case. Uh, I have filed a complaint with the NCW, which was, a, which was something that the NCW was actually encouraging all of us who were speaking up and uh, naming our molesters in 2018 when the Me Too movement broke out. Uh, we complained. I wrote a complaint. NCW sent a reminder to the DGP, the then, then DGP of Tamil Nadu, uh, three reminders in which all of uh, I have been CC'd on email. Uh, after which cops came home, I gave a handwritten complaint, and then nothing happened. Um, and they're also telling that uh, this issue first erupted in 2018, and at that time we were not in power. So in the four years between 18 and 21, the ADMK was in power. So uh, technically, like Chinmay cannot only accuse us, she should also accuse the ADMK and maybe the BJP also in this is what they're telling. I have tweeted. They can go and check my timeline. I have tweeted out to uh, Sri Ada Party when they were in power saying, please take cognizance of my complaint. I, I have not changed anything from then on because uh, as I got banned, uh, uh, the, you know, Mr. Radha Ravi was in the DMK. Thereafter, he moved to BJP. I have been constantly questioning the BJP why they are platforming him, why he's a part of that party when he's, he actually has an FIR against him for assaulting a woman. It's current right now. And uh, there are so many other cases that he he, that have been filed against him and when he also enjoys uh, proximity to various different politicians because of his connections over the years I have not backed down from questioning anybody and everybody I have questioned everybody and I'm saying okay let's say you know let me just you know flip the question back to them fine the previous government did not do anything what prevents you from doing it be the hero in this story why do you want to be the villain be the hero be the be the knight in shining armor we'll all be happy who cares you know talking about this you know whole uh, episode like of course uh, uh, you know after this controversy came out after you leveled allegations against Vairamu uh, you have, I uh, you know, uh, the opportunities in the Tamil film industry, be it the singing or dubbing, that has reduced is what you're telling. So can you talk to us in brief about it, how this has affected your career in general in Tamil Nadu? So I actually face uh, an official work ban. So Mr. Radha Ravi, who's the president of the dubbing union, uh, made sure that I was banned immediately. And this is the case that I've been fighting in the city civil court since 2018, sorry, uh, 19 beginning-ish. Um, so they have banned me on frivolous charges. Um, this is all of this I'm fighting. I get abused in court. Uh, that lawyer says whatever the heck he wants. All of this I've been facing for the past five years. So uh, in addition to what is... They were so swift in taking action to ban me uh, and not even 1% of that was done to even put systems in place. I'm not even being selfish here and say give me justice. I'm saying at least put systems in place like the ICC or the POXO units in every union because every union, every film industry, every media house, every television channel hires and works with 
children they work with grown adults to have posh workshops most of these channels don't have pox or you know they don't have iccs they have never had a posh workshop and then i at least put those systems in place so nobody seems to have the will to do any of this but they'll all come and when some uh, issue like this comes up to the spotlight they will not do anything that needs to be done to create systemic change or systematic change or a cultural change because all of this will take time this needs to happen it at various levels to continue to you know provide awareness so that things become easier for people to report and when you keep silencing and uh, slapping back at people who actually report and you know slut shame them because uh, that's what you know i go through almost on a daily basis on social media and uh, what is this that they're going to say that you know we are pro women safety whoever it may be i don't think anybody has a moral high ground to say that mr wairamuth to try to approach you or try to talk to you after in, in the in the last 5 years ever since this started did he reach out to you at some point in time he uh, attempted to reach out through a director saying that uh, let us agree, arrive at a compromise so stop talking about me let me know how we can arrive on a compromise so i'm like uh, tamil cinema style is uh, compromises when they get the rapist married to the victim so what is your plan <laughs> I just <laughs> I happened to say that so I said I really don't want to see your face uh, I again um, and whoever is this, this person is trying to do this compromise please ask them to understand what the me to movement is and what is going on Dakshin Bharat ki ek dusri